Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you set up a cookie inside your ASP.NET Core web app using C Sharp. So first of all, let's go and create a new project. I have Visual Studio 2022 installed. It's just the community edition. And I will say create a new project. And for this project, we will use the ASP.NET Core web app. And I click next. And it doesn't matter what we call it and we will use the .NET 6 framework for this. So now that the project is set up, I have two ways I want to show you how you create a cookie. First, I will show you in a code behind file. And after that, I will show you how you do it in the CSHTML file. And the way it's going to be done in a CSHTML file is also the same way that you would do it in Blazor. So let's start and go to pages folder. And let's open the index file and take the code behind for the index file. And let's get rid of this logger. We don't need that. And then we go and make a property, which should be called HTTP context. And we can just call it the same here. So HTTP context. And this get and set uh, doesn't really matter in this case. We can just remove it. So what we will do now is to create a new cookie uh, when the page is loaded. But before we can make a cookie, we have to have a uh, cookie options class or object. So the first thing we will do is to say cookie. And uh, it should be cookie options. And we can just call it options. And we will have a new instance of the cookie options. So now that we have a instance of a cookie options, we can go and say options. And we want to make this property call, that is called expired. Uh, we want to say that it should have a date time and say now. And just let's say add one day. So in one day it will expire, but you can also say add minutes seconds you can also say month i think right here and also years but let's just say one month then and next we want to say that the uh, is essential should be true and that it should have a path to the root so now that we have the options instance of our cookie, we can go and actually create it. And the way we do that is go and take our HTTP context and then we will say response cookies and then append and this take three parameters. So this is the name of the cookie. We can just call it my cookie. And the next thing is the value of the cookie. You maybe want to have a, you know, a token or something. So if we make something fun here like this, and the last one is the options parameter. So it will take our options uh, objects. So let's go and test this. So when I try to test it out, I actually get this null reference exception. And that's because I, I forgot that the HTTP context is already uh, coming from the page model, so we can just remove this and just make it a big H like this. And now you can see when we hover this, you can see that it comes from page model. So we have the page model and then the HTTP context. So now we can try to test it out again. So now that the application is running, we can go and check the cookies and I have this extension. I will put a link below so you can also use this extension. It's called check my cookies. And down here you can see my cookie and this is the cookie that we set. And don't worry about all the other cookies. It's just from other projects because it takes it from the local host. So as you can see, it takes the domain local host and this is just from other projects I have but this is the one that we set now. So that's actually the way you will do it in the code behind. But if you want to do it directly in the CSHTML file, it's another approach because we don't have our page model inside our CSHTML file. 
So let's go back to the project. And now instead of doing this, we will go to the index.cshtml file. And it's actually the same approach if you use a blazer, but actually most of the code we can reuse. So I will just go back and just copy and paste all this code inside the code here. And let's stop running the application. But actually in here, in this uh, index.cshtml file, it also works because we're getting this index model class and it extends uh, from the from the page model already. So we can actually use this. So this will also work. However, if we go to the, the underscore uh, layout file, it will not work because we don't have that class in here. So let's say that you want to create a cookie, no matter what page you're on, you might want to do it inside the underscore layout file. And the way we do it is to create some space for the code. And then let's go and copy and paste it again. And now you can see that it doesn't recognize the HTTP context. So the thing we want to do is to go and inject a interface. And we just want to say inject. Oops. And this should be called I HTTP context and it's called accessor. Just like this. And then we can go and kind of paste some of the name and let's make it small. So what we are actually doing is to going a step behind the class hierarchy. So we can now take this and put it in front and say dot because then it will recognize the HTTP context. So let's try to make this a different cookie, put some something we can recognize in and let's go and comment this out. And I already comment the other thing out. So let's try and run the application. And this is actually not working because I forgot one thing. So let's close it and go to program.cs file. And inside our builder here, we want to add a new line where we say builder services add singleton. And then we want to add the actual interface. So if we save this and go to our layouts file again and try to run it, it should work now. And as you can see, it's not working. But let's see if we get the new cookie. And here, yeah, we get the new cookie. And as I mentioned earlier, if you have a Blazor project, you can do exactly the same. Just inject the interface, create a cookie options, and then use the interface to get the HTTP context. And last of all, uh, if you want to delete a cookie, you can actually just go and say here in the add month, then you can just say minus one, and then you can run the application and see that the cookie is gone. So if we click now, you can see that we don't have the cookie that we made before. But I hope you learned something from this video and please like and subscribe if you like the video and else just have a nice day. Bye.